Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips. It's your weekly fishing report. Guys, the storms ain't going to hit us. The wind, wind's got a little windy. The waves got a little big, so I wouldn't go out in the surf. But you can still fish inside the jetties, inside North Jetty or the South Jetty. Either one, there's still some good redfish in there. Uh, you can catch them on croaker, the big bull reds, or live shrimp will catch even the small trout and all kinds of other fish along with it. Incoming tide over at the Lydian End Channel has been holding some nice trout right down through here, especially early in the morning. Uh, shrimp will catch everything. It'll catch the ladyfish, it'll keep the hard heads, everything else, but it will catch a few keeper trout mixed in there. Uh, there's some redfish in this little cut right back up here. Throw up on that bank in there. That water's up high because them storms passing, but there's still some good fish. Incoming tide all the way down through here. Been working good for them croaker, uh, for trout with croaker, and piggies if you can find them. If you go all the way down there to Corpus Christi Bayou, in right in here, into a big bayou. There's been some big sharks hanging around in here. I don't know why they're just in here feeding, but I've seen them a couple of times, so be careful. They will cut your line off, but uh, they're five, six foot or somebody wants to go catch them. Not only that, if you want some trout, get out here in Trailer Island all the way down through here. Anchor up with your croaker or your piggies and catch you some nice trout. Over a Hog Island Hole has been holding some nice trout right in through here. If you want to get you some redfish, get right on El Reef, which is right here. Uh, there's been some nice reds right on top of it, catching them with croaker. You can also use cut mullet, cut menhaden, or if you find some lady fish, cut them up, chunk them out there. It's been working pretty good on them. Also, there's higher water. There's areas right in here. It's a high spot right in here. It's been working pretty good on them redfish. If you just get out there and drift across it with the artificial, it's been working pretty good. Or if you want to get out there and just throw your cut bait up on top of it, cut ladyfish seems to be the best. Uh, cut pin perch or even live pin perch. Throw them out there on the Carolina rig and put them in a rod holder. Don't do nothing. Let that rod bend over. Also, island number four, number three, number two, number one. Any of these shorelines right here where that water's coming in, been holding some nice redfish. Any of them right down through here. Uh, throw your cut bait right up there next to it. Uh, if you have a popping cork and shrimp, you could probably drift this whole area right here and catch some redfish and trout mixed in through there. All right, over in Ingleside, right here on this little flat, right out here, weight fish has been doing pretty good. Uh, that high water, it's not a bad place just to drift across it, but there's been a whole some nice trout and redfish in there. If you want some redfish, get up in this little bait, right up here on that edge, that shoreline, right down through here, it's been a whole some nice reds, cut bait. Ladyfish is the best thing I found, cut pin perch works pretty good too. But this whole shoreline's been holding some rod, redfish right down through here. Throw out the deeper water, you're gonna get your trout. But there's also hardheads, gaff top, and some sharks all mixed in down through there. Okay, guys, this higher wind, higher tide. This is a pretty good spot to go. Get you some croaker. Piggies, if you got them, bigger croaker work. But chunk them in this surf right down through. There's little waves down through in that sand just like the surf. There's guts and there's valleys just down through there. Uh, but the redfish are up shallow, way up shallow. Uh, the trout a little out deeper. But anywhere down through, there's a couple of piers right down through here. It's been holding some nice trout. Get out here in the middle of it early. You find your trout. And then later as the sun comes up, get up on that bank like that right up there behind that old golf course all down through there. Been holding some nice trout on cut perch. Uh, cut ladyfish is the best. But uh, if you can't find that, use cut menhaden. Or get you some menhaden and throw it out there and use it as chum. Uh, but it, and then throw your mullet out there. Also, another trick is get you some mullet, cut it up in chunks, soak it in all overnight. It makes, makes a big old nasty mess on your boat, but it sure makes them fish want to eat it. For watching, I'm Captain Doug Stanford.